Welcome back. Former Badger wide receiver J.C. Dawkins was a member of Barry Alvarez's first recruiting class and won a Rose Bowl. Yeah, 25 years later, he's helping other men stay in shape after he almost died a year ago. Melissa Kim shares his story. Just a casual 4th of July holiday for J.C. Dawkins and his family when... Got out of the car and... It hit me. I, I had the heart attack. For a minute and 39 seconds, my heart had stopped. And as he was wheeled away at the hospital... My sons were standing there, and at the time, 16 and 11. And uh, just the look of terror on their faces. And, you know, I live my life for them. So that right there told me I have to make it through this. Fast forward about a year. J.C. feels great, minus a little guilt. How come I'm here? Why am I, why do some people not make it through this and I made it through this? There's got to be a reason. That's where JP Hair Design comes in. A bustling black barbershop on Madison's west side. We get busy, the chairs get filled, but it's a great flow. But thanks to owner JP, guys are walking out with more than just a fade. I love the community. I believe my barbers love the community. And we want to help people. Nestled by a few chairs, what's now become a safe space, the Men's Health and Education Center. And just around the corner, a place to practice yoga. Take a deep breath in and exhale out your mouth on your mat. Some men say, I just need a place where I can just feel welcome. So that's why we open the doors here. Aaron Perry, a former college basketball player, was the brains behind it after he overcame his own struggles with diabetes. I was angry that I allowed myself to get in such poor shape. But through his own research and a lot of sweat, he's about to tackle his third triathlon. I'm getting ready to do it again. Aaron and JC were both customers at JP Hair Design because, well, everyone needs a haircut. And it's a place where you really get to know people. Someone else will come in limping. People would ask, you know, you're limping really bad. Yeah, I have gout. And we would talk about that. That person get that nice haircut, they walk out the door. And historically, the black community doesn't have a lot of confidence in health care. JC explains. You talk to a, a, a young boy and you say, who's your favorite NFL football team? Nine times out of ten, it's going to be the same team his father likes, because that's how he's been conditioned. Well, if your father has particular feelings about the health care community or has trust issues with the healthcare community, which go all the way back to the Tuskegee experiments and things like that, um, it carries down. But that tide is slowly changing. With volunteer doctors and nurses at the center, the guys are making the black community in Madison a little healthier. One lady came in this past Saturday to, to thank us and get her blood pressure checked again because um, I believe JC had checked her blood pressure while she was here and it was high and he recommended she should go see the doctor and found out that, you know, she had high blood pressure. Reaching men and boys of all ages. And then come into your first downward dog. One down dog, one blood pressure screening at a time. Namaste.